Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be sharing an updated nighttime routine with you. Our nighttime routine usually begins between 5.15 and 5.30 p.m. and it is around this time that we will let the boys out of our little makeshift playpen and they'll follow me into the kitchen to get started on dinner. Once in the kitchen, I'll pull out any tubbleware, mixing bowls, wooden spoons, anything to help keep the boys occupied while I make dinner. On this night for dinner, I went ahead and made the boys some Italian style meatballs. I paired that with some egg noodles. And every night for dinner, I try and give the boys at least two veggies. On this night, they were having some zucchini and yellow squash, and then I pre-steamed some broccoli and cauliflower. While I'm preparing dinner and the boys are playing at my feet, Harris will go ahead and take this time to clean up the living room. This is his nightly chore, and he's amazing at it. Towards the end of Harris cleaning up the living room, the dinner will typically be done cooking and I will go ahead, cut it all up, and get it plated for the boys. Do you want to go eat? Do you want to eat? Come. Come on, Bubba's. Once everything is plated, Harris will help me sit the babies and they will go ahead and start eating. It is usually around 5.45 that the boys will go ahead and start their dinner. super iffy about pasta some nights they will eat it and love it and other nights they're not really about it and on this night neither baby was really about the egg noodles boys are done eating, I will go ahead and take their plates, trays, and bibs. I will wipe them down and then it's their favorite time of the night, socky time. For some reason, they love playing with their socks and so every night after dinner, they play with their socks until we head up for bed. Cleaning off the babies, Harris will go ahead and load the dishwasher for me and clean any miscellaneous pots, plates, bibs, anything like that. On the weekends, the boys take baths during the day since Harris is home and able to help me and so on this day the boys actually took a bath before their first nap and so no bath time before bed tonight, we just play around with their socks and any toys until around 6.30 when we head up to get in jammies. Around 
6.30, I will go and turn the water on. The boys do not like their milk cold, so we warm it just enough to where it's room temperature. So I will go ahead and throw on a pot of water and take the first baby up to get him dressed in his pajamas. First baby is dressed and put into bed with his sleep sack and a binky. Harris will go ahead and bring up the second baby for me to do the same to him while he heads downstairs and prepares their bottles. The boys still take 8 ounces of milk before bed and we are using a transition sippy cup for them and soon hopefully we'll be able to get it into a straw sippy cup that they'll have with dinner. Once both the babies are in their sleep sacks and their bottles are room temperature, Harris will bring them up to the room for us and will place the boys on their twinsy nursing pillow to have their bottle before bed. drinker and so he is always the first one finished and Harris will go ahead and place him in his crib once he is done and lately during this time he gets super jittery and crazy and silly he will go ahead and try and tickle me while I'm sitting with Jack and he tries to get out his last minute energy <laughs> jump, jump. Just as Jack is finishing up his bottle, I will go ahead and say my goodnights to Benny, wait for Jackie to finish up, and then say my goodnights to him, and then it is off to bed for the boys. Wash their bottle, 
so they're fresh for the morning. And on the weekends, Harris and I do like to eat dinner once the boys go to bed so that we can have peace and quiet and enjoy a meal together. And so on this night, Harris ordered us our favorite Mexican restaurant and we went ahead, ate dinner, got into bed after, and had some snacks and it was off to bed for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, head on down there and subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.